Have you ever had or currently have stars in your astro images that look like this and you're unsure how to get rid of them? Or perhaps you're unsure about whether and when a comma corrector might be useful for you? If so, then this video is precisely what you need. In this video, I'll show you what comma is and how to identify it in your astro images. Furthermore, I'll guide you on how to remove this comma by using an optical component called comma corrector. Designed for this purpose, effectively eliminating comma and ensuring that even in the corners you have pinpoint stars. All that and everything you need to know right after the intro. Perhaps you're wondering right now how to identify comer in your astro images. To give you a closer look, I've brought an image that I've captured without using a comer character. For example, this image was taken with a Canon EOS 2000D and a Skywatcher 150-750 PDS Newtonian telescope. If you zoom in a bit and take a closer look at the image, you'll notice that the stars in the center are very, very round, with minimal tracking errors. The stars are round and the spikes on both sides are symmetric. However, as you move towards the edges, you can observe that the stars become increasingly distorted. This is known as coma, which is most pronounced in the corners. The farther you move from the center of the image, the more distorted the stars become. Comer is not only evident in the corners, but also in the upper and lower regions, as you can see here and down below here. Therefore, the farther you move from the center, the more noticeable the comer becomes. To confirm whether it's indeed comer, it's best to inspect the center of the image. Zoom in a bit and inspect the stars in the center of the frame. If the stars in the center are round, as in this example, but is torted in the corners, it's very likely due to comer. However, if you zoom in on the center and already have distorted stars in the image, it's likely due to tracking errors. If you have distorted stars in the center, you probably have them throughout the entire image. This occurs when the mount hasn't tracked correctly. In this case, you have two options to eliminate these distorted stars next time. Firstly, you can reduce the exposure time, and secondly, you can use auto guiding. Auto guiding provides two options off axis guiding or a guide scope attached to the telescope. Auto guiding sends commands to the mounts to compensate for potential tracking errors. If you only have distorted stars in the corners but pinpoint stars in the center, it's very likely due to coma. After showing you how to identify coma in your image, I would now like to explain how to remove it. There are two possible approaches for this. The first method involves cropping the image, meaning you simply zoom in and cut away parts from the picture. As observed in the image, coma is mostly pronounced at the edges, especially in the corners. Assuming that this area corresponds to the camera's field of view, we can crop the image by removing the other parts. As you could see in my example image, the most affected areas are primarily in the corners and outer regions of the image. If we reduce the size of the image and only use the central areas, the coma in our newly cropped image is not as pronounced. However, there is a drawback to this method. When photographing smaller objects, such as planetary nebulae or smaller galaxies, they often do not appear in the entire field of view, as they are small and do not extend to the corners. Therefore, we can simply crop the other parts of our image and use only the central parts where the object is located. The advantage of this approach is that the coma is only weakly visible in the central regions, creating the impression of no coma in the image without using a coma character. However, if you have objects that appear in the entire field of view, like the Andromeda galaxy, for example, it becomes challenging. In this case, the object extends to the corners, and if we crop our image, we lose important details that we intended to capture. Therefore, this method is not suitable for beginners, but only when photographing objects that are only in center and do not extend to the corners. If you plan to use the entire field of view, which is what most people want, the only option left is to use a comma corrector. This is precisely why I switched to using a comma corrector. This comma corrector corrects the image, ensuring pinpoint stars even in the corners. This comma corrector is then attached to your camera using an adapter. It's important to use the correct spacing. Most correctors have a working distance of 55 millimeters. At the beginning, I had some problems because I didn't have the exact right distance, resulting in comma. However, a significant improvement. You could definitely have taken photos like that, but I wanted to completely remove the coma. To improve coma correction, I purchased a 1mm spacer ring to achieve the exact 55mm. Since then, I have had no issues with coma. If there is still interest how to attach a coma corrector to your telescope in detail, 
feel free to leave a comment below this video. If you have any questions in general, feel free to write them in the comments and I will be happy to help you. If you enjoyed the video, I would greatly appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you for watching and until next time.